Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to access the Journalytics Trade Journal brought to you by Jigsaw Day Trader, and I'll also be showing you how to monitor various account statistics, orders, trades, all within the Journalytics Trade Journal through Jigsaw Day Trader. So you do have two different ways of accessing the trading journal. One is through your launch tray on the actual platform, Jigsaw Day Trader. Simply click on the Journalytics button right here on the right hand side, and this will open up within your default browser a tab for Journalytics, and it'll automatically sign you into your account. The other method of doing so is by going over to your Jigsaw membership portal, and from there, just navigate to the top and click on Journalytics. Either method will bring you to the Journalytics Trade Journal. They will bring you to two different tabs, but that's okay. You can filter and scroll through easily um, without issue. So let's start to go through this now that we're actually in the Trading Journal. The Trading Journal is pretty much just gonna give you a ton of different analytical tools, statistics, and a log of pretty much every trade you've made on your account, whether it's a simulation account or a live account. Anything you have logged into Jigsaw Day Trader with will be displayed here. So first up, you will want to select your account in the top left. Pretty much just click the account you want to display here and you know the stats you want to receive for them. Up in the top left, this is going to be your current period. If you want, you can select by month, year, days, whatever the fact you want. And then you can also compare it to a different time period. So you can compare one month to another, one day to another. This can get really in depth and we're not gonna go too in depth into this video. I'm just gonna kind of navigate through and show you how to access specific features throughout the journal. But this can get really in depth and if you're really into analytics, this is a great tool to use. Other than displaying your account, you can display by instrument. So if you trade multiple, you can compare the different instruments or you can display them for all the trades you made or just one, it really depends. You have trade type here as well. We only have you know so many trade types that we've made on this account and just keep in mind, I have not traded very much in this account. So my performance is probably gonna vary and not gonna be too well, but I've probably only made a total of five different trades on this account. So that's why you're not gonna see too much info there. And if there's things missing, just keep that in mind at the end of the day. Then finally, you do have a hashtag option. Now, I will be honest, I'm not exactly too sure why the hashtag option is available, but I'm sure it does serve your purpose. If you do know what it is, feel free to leave a comment section or a comment in the comment section down below. I, I'd love to know why someone would use this or maybe get some practical info on why you would implement this into your analytical you know, tool. That being said, the statistics at the top do show you total gains and losses, commissions taken out of your trades. It does show you total gain, net, and loss. You can see things such as daily gross PL, average daily PL. There's a whole bunch of things to filter through. You can click left and right, and you can filter through all the various tabs here that they have displayed and statistics related to them. Scrolling down now, we have daily trade performance. Again, if you do choose something to compare to, you will get two different graphs here, just comparing both of them. And this pretty much carries on throughout the entire journal here. So you can see the red is gonna be our previous, and then the current is listed here in yellow and green. Now that that's disabled, let's continue on. On the left-hand side here on these couple columns, these are distribution by different time periods. So we have hour, week, and by account. So if you want to see when you're most active in a particular period and then want to contrast that to your performance per hour, day, or by account, you can easily do so here. You can see what days you're performing best on or what days you're performing worst. Again, you can get really in depth here or you can use this just as a simple tool. It really is on you, but there's a ton to work with here. So again, you can do by performance and by distribution on the left and right sides in their corresponding, you know, their fields. Again, you can again see your instruments down here. So you can see winning PL, losing PL, total PL per instrument. You can see it by trade type once again, or you can see it by hashtag. Then at the very bottom, 
you have your account name and the PL associated with each of your accounts and just some of the commissions, gross profits and net profits as well. So this has been covered in various other sections throughout the My Dashboard tab, but it's all listed clearly for you in graphical display. Heading over to the calendar now, this is just going to break down, you know, your different trading periods or the different days, weeklies or monthlies, and you can just pretty much see an entire log of trades you've made within those days, weeks or months. Now, again, I haven't traded very much or if at all with this account. So you're not going to see much information here from me. Here we go. in one of my accounts, you can see on the fifth, I had, you know, just one trade. I lost $62 on it. Same thing I carried over to on Thursday, the seventh. And again, only one count. And I didn't make any profits or losses on this for the most part. Next up, you can do a daily overview so we can actually see blue is represented by profits. Red is by losses. You can see today, I believe I do have a position on there. So I actually have a PL of $725 just from a position I'm carrying over. But you can see how the average PL is listed, the week PL, and the average week. And again, this is all represented graphically. You can filter by account if you want. You can select all. Over here on the right side, we have today's data, average day, this week, average week's data. Shows you your average time in a trade, the average winner, loser, profit factor. Down here, we can show PL, win rate, loser, average winner, average profit factor. We do get trading performance in a graph here. Continuing down, we have PL in a graph. We have our risk in a graph. And then down at the very bottom, we have open trades, closed trades, all listed. On the left hand side, we do have economic news releases as they filter in. This is also good for, you know, trading around major economic news events. If you're not familiar, we actually do have our own news trader, news.optimistfutures.com. Feel free to check out our videos on that. You may find it very helpful. Not only does it have these same news releases, but it does have the markets actually flowing directly into the trader. So you can actually analyze the markets and get some trade ideas while you're looking at the news releases. Coming up top here, we do have the playbook. So this is pretty much just going to show you all the entries in your little trading journal here. You can create new ones up at the top. We can name it journal, whatever we want, and a, um, a description for it. And then we can pretty much just filter through all the different entries throughout our playbook. Again, mine's a little barren right now. So because we don't have too much information to work off of. But this is just something that's a neat customization options within Journalytics that I'm not going to get too deep into here. Heading back down now, we do have profit seekers. Let's let this load. This is pretty much again just showing you more statistics based off of PL, period PL, the distribution per day by time, performance by time, shows you whether you've done better on winning or losers with longs or shorts, the account type the symbol you've traded there's so much to work off of here and we're really just scratching the surface with all the different statistics provided by jigsaw day trader again and as we have seen you can filter by account by instrument by type or by hashtag all of which can be adjusted at the top the last couple tabs here are pretty helpful here we have a list of every single trade we've made on our account as you can see we don't have too much but this is where you can have your entire log of trades to monitor and filter based off of various accounts, instruments, types, and hashtags up at the top. We can show open trades if we have any. As you can see, we do have one. And like I mentioned before, we're actually doing pretty well right now and have nearly $700 profit for the day because of these open positions that we've carried over. If you want, you can save this and then you'll see there's a little Excel button. You can actually export the journal from here and put it right into an Excel spreadsheet if you want. Anytime you do see that little Excel button, and this is on Jigsaw as well, you can export it to Excel. The last couple of things I'd like to mention, there is a leaderboard. I'm not going to really get into this, but it's just going to allow you to compare yourself to other traders if you want to and see some things that they've been doing. You can you know, message them and bounce ideas back off of one another. 
we do have the journal queue here just again kind of showing you everything that's been running on your account pretty much an activity log we could say you can also select your trade type here and input it into your journal if you want to you can search a journal at the bottom and the final two things i'm going to show you you have a commission calculator here if you want and then finally and if you haven't actually seen our other video on it you do have the option of creating a simulator account this is pretty much just a free paper trading account that'll use the data feed that you're running off of but just prevent your orders from being sent to the exchange this is absolutely free and is you know part of journalytics and jigsaw so if you want to test out a strategy method or whatever the case is you don't want your order sent to the exchange you can go ahead and create your simulator account here and mess around with that we already do have a video covering this like i briefly mentioned so if you want to learn a bit more on how to create yourself a simulator account and use it in the actual platform please refer to that but that's about just going to wrap it up for this video just wanted to quickly show you how to access journalytics and how to monitor some of your account statistics on there it is very helpful we only scratch the surface but you can get very in depth with it as you've seen if you do have any questions please post them in the comment section below please also head over to our community forum you're more than welcome to sign up for a free account there and ask any questions you may have if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more jigsaw content we do have trading podcasts on the way market analysis tips strategies and much more and as always thanks for watching